Hello, my name is Bogdan from DNN Shark. It's my pleasure to present to you today our latest add-on, the social media integration, which basically allows applications to log in and to post to Facebook, Twitter and Google. This is an add-on for all our action-based modules. It, it will work with Action Form, with Action Grid, API Endpoint, Infobox and Sharp Schedule. And I will show you a bit how to configure it, but before that, let me mention that this add-on is not included in the collections because it was developed in partnership with Daniel, another developer. So let's get started. What I have here is a form with all the capabilities. And I will show you a bit how I configure it. So let's look a bit at the login with Facebook button. Basically just a button with an action called Facebook login and you'll find all this action in a new section called uh, social media. Yeah, you'll find all the actions here. And this action is actually very easy to configure. Just provide the application ID and the API secret and you can get this from the um, Facebook developer site where you, when you create an application. And after that you get to specify some actions that get executed after the login. So this was very, very easy to configure. And let's see how it works. So here I'm on a different browser and I'm not logged in. So just click the login with Facebook. Now I'm taken to the Facebook page where I need to log in. And depending on how you configure your application, you'd also need maybe some um, to set up the permission, the appropriate permission. And now I'm back on the website and I'm logged in as this user. Furthermore, you'll notice that in the profile, we've wired the Facebook ID to a profile property. So you could actually access it at a later time. And same goes with all the other actions. Log in with Google, it will be the same thing. You'd, you'd have a an uh, API ID and the API secret and again you can specify action that happened with success and same for login with Twitter. On the post side it is uh, you need again an application ID and an application secret after that you need a message and then you can specify some privacy options yes like you would have on Facebook and a list of actions that get executed on success. Um, also post on Twitter and we don't have post on Google. One important thing to note about all these actions is that they are final action. You cannot stack anything below these actions because what happens is that the browser redirects to, the, to Facebook or Twitter or Google where some ma magic happens and then it redirects back to the website. But you get to specify additional actions in this on success handler. So on a success login, you could run additional uh, action to set up the user. So that's it. Simple and effective. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember that you can contact us if you have any questions. And also check the documentation on the social media add-on. And remember that this add-on is not included in the collections, so if you are interested to purchase it, you will have to purchase it individually. Half of this profit go to our partner developers, and again, I can tell you that this is an open program, so any developer that wants to partner with us to develop extensions, we welcome this collaboration. Thank you and have a great day.